I think are, well, let's just say it's the same. Somewhere down the road, I definitely wouldn't spend that $3,000 now. Uh, but down the road, when things are going well, it still could be worthwhile for such an amazing opportunity to, for the dogs to be able to pass across from one area to another going under the trail. It's just kind of cool. So it's just floating around in my head, that idea right now. And I, I enjoy it, like the thoughts of what can be done. I came across some cool metal things that my electricians that are used now as supports, you know, dug like seven feet into the ground like a big screw um, with a machine and uh, super strong, versatile, and uh, they can, can and could be used for small structures for sure uh, to go on. So like you could even do, I'm thinking you could even do... Uh, Um, like a, sort of a tree fort effect, you know, something up higher in amongst trees. And you could use a bunch of those as extra support. You could have, say, like cedar posts for the visual effect, like on our fence, but uh, you could have a couple of those other ones just for extra strength, if depending on the, the building. So it's, I'm just, just opens up cool, creative ideas, because uh, I really like what's developing within me without... <laughs> is the idea that I'm an artist, but there's no holds barred. Like I, I just create the environment around me. You know, I'm not an artist just of something on a canvas or just of a carved thing or just of a tattoo, but just that anything and everything I touch, I can put some flair into. And I think the more I just do it, the more that will just become my life. Like not as a, oh, can I sell this? Is this something marketable? Because otherwise I can't make a living. Well, if I can reduce my cost of living down enough that I could, like, even if I could work two weeks of the month or six months of the year or however it works, many people do that kind of seasonal type stuff. Well, and I can make, you know, because my costs are low enough, uh, that gives me that much extra time, two weeks of a month or every second day. To do my own projects which means i can do art without thinking about how it can be done for someone else and how i can just express it without any other thoughts or considerations just direct line direct transmission no translation needed uh, so that's getting really exciting and then that starts to build this idea that or a recognition that i will have a, a even now but very soon an environment that, uh, if anyone knows about woofers uh, and other work experience programs for people traveling around the world that want to do cool uh, life experience volunteer work uh, in exchange for room and board as they travel around the world. Of course, it'll be more local people now because of the uh, border situation, which is sad because I've had wonderful German uh, lady, Francie, um, there's a wonderful Italian guy, Gianluca, uh, with his dog, Ponyo. Uh, uh, another really cool German guy who was before Francie, and I forgot his name now, and I, I know it will pop in my head if I made you wait long enough, but I won't. Um, there's a lady from France, but she came at the worst, worst rainy season ever bugs if you think whatever I was going through was bad this was insane and she left within a week she was gone like she didn't leave us she left Ontario I think um, so I hope you know overall she had a great experience uh, and even that when it fits in you know looking back on things maybe it's good fun um, but yeah I'm hoping and I'm anticipating that we're gonna have such an exciting environment of creativity here that people from around the world will be excited to come here and lend a hand and contribute and feel later on when they've grown up older a lot of them are you know younger students but whatever age that uh, later on they can look back and go wow I was a part of that and I can always come here anytime and remember and reconnect and so on so that's what I'd like it to be here is this great meeting place healing place uh, hopefully a place eventually where people 
might even rent the space for a yoga retreat or other retreats or even business retreats where people want to be out in wilderness. Uh, but for now, I think just the creativity, the the meditation, the activity of of just using creativity as a spiritual practice. You know, I've always been interested in that. Like I remember, I just kind of thought of anything connected to that from when I was younger. And when I was first at OCA, uh, I remember telling uh, a fellow artist about how I had been introduced to fasting when I was in Katimovic, when I was uh, 18 and 19. I did a four-day fast. And uh, then when I was at OCA, a couple of years later, I thought about trying to do a four-day fast and while I was fasting paint and draw and just see does it shift my perspective awareness way of seeing things whatever and I did find it quite profound not that I would starve myself <laughs> uh, I mean fasting is not starving yourself just to clarify but uh, just as a silly thing I, I you don't need to do that to be creative but it is a tool uh, and I like the idea of you know, combining meditation is, is something that many people have done. Uh, a lot of Buddhists that, that are artists will do that kind of a thing. You know, stay very quiet and meditative while they paint. Um, there's just so much to do here that's fun. And I'm finally, it's almost 60 years old, realizing this. To the, I, I mean, I realized it before, but I guess I always felt I had to dive in and do things. And I did. It's what I had to do. And now I'm life situation you could say god has let me know that this is where i'm meant to be and it's not something being done to me or done to anyone it's an opportunity uh, if i look at it from the place of the healing uh, so when i was looking at it from before in the dread part fighting kicking and screaming uh, i couldn't see that i couldn't appreciate it but now i'm getting it like it's infu I feel like uh, I'm infusing. It's like the reverse tea bag effect. It's like, it's like, God is the tea bag, and I am absorbing that essence, uh, and it translates as ideas and things. And I, I'm really, really enjoying it. And I think me just being here by myself at first, it felt a bit lonely, um, but now I'm. I mean, I'm blabbing on here to the camera, but it's different than if you're talking to someone. Um, I'm, I'm kind of liking it. It's really interesting. I remember that happening when I did a couple of, well, more than a couple of Vipassana silent meditation retreats, only 10 days. But, um, you know, at a certain point, all your little struggles let go, or at least for me, it did. And I had some quite euphoric moments, although as soon as I had the euphoric moment, I went, oh my God. It would went away, and then when I tried to get back there, I couldn't get there, so I had to untry, and eventually, more likely, most likely, I would get there again, but not while I was trying. It was a real uh, mind game to disconnect or unhook, um, but really, really cool. So I think all my life experiences now, I'm, I'm seeing that they're all going to come in handy in ways that I may never have thought before, so... It's exciting. The idea of making my own little log cabin is now starting to feel exciting as well. You know, I've learned some chainsaw stuff, and I've learned a bit of this, and a little bit of carving, a little bit of whatever. Uh, now, if I combine it all, what what might I create as a living space? You know, maybe I'll have a little um, set of rental bunkies one day, all made by me, and each one completely different, like a, a piece of art. So people can rent for a night or for a week a piece of art to live in, a creation, a soul print living space. Uh, and for sure, uh, living spaces, I think, should be sacred. I know that the uh, Mongolian yurts are definitely have a hint of a temple feel to them inside. Um, and my very good friend, William Woodworth, uh, Mohawk gentleman and architect uh, really, really taught me a lot 
about sacred spaces and how they affect you and your state of mind when you walk into them. And I know also another architect from Egypt, I forgot his name, but we bought a few of his little energy clearing things, but he's designed and, and had built uh, medical centers for uh, mental illness. And he's done them in ways where walking into the space energetically affects your state of mind. And it's all been figured out and proven and it works or else they wouldn't have put so much money into them. So I, I just pay attention to all that. You know, even my way back research with Mike Reynolds and the Earthship Movement, great documentary still. Uh, not super long, but uh, really well worth watching. It's called Garbage Warrior. It will be on YouTube. Uh, even if you're not interested in Earthships, it's just the process that he goes through and is willing to go through. The courage and determination and to break rules as necessary, not just to break rules, but when logic surpasses the the logic, um, and he stood his ground and he won in court for the opportunity to develop these areas, these zones, um, villages for people to have these buildings and these dwellings, these experimental dwellings. And he said, I, I, I have to be able to make mistakes or else how can I learn? I, I'm not just going to build based on what's acceptable. I need to experiment. And so that's what he's done in his life. What a great contribution to the world. Um, so anyways, I've got to get to work or else I'll never get anything done and then it'll be time to eat again. So uh, have a wonderful day. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. If you're watching this on YouTube, that, that, there's my thumb. Yep. If you're watching this on YouTube, please press the like button. Uh, subscribe. And... Uh, if you feel inclined, I would love to hear your comments. You know, this is a, a great adventure for me, and I'm just uh, reporting as I go. Uh, but I'd love to get feedback from people. You know, neat ideas, things they've done, similar or not similar, and um, or insights as well. Thank you very much, and I will see you at the next video. Bye bye.